everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. As you know, as a broom closet witch, I'm always recommending to you to always download ebooks instead of buying physical books like this one. The reason why, of course, is because physical books are much harder to hide than ebooks in electronic form. However, there is a slight caveat to that though, as I will explain in this video. Long story short, a lot of books listed on Amazon are written by fake authors, and I'm going to tell you how and why in this video. So while I was wondering about what book to read next, I thought I'd just check out Audible just to be able to see if there are any good witchy books that have been narrated. Sometimes as part of my day it will be easier to fit in a narrated book rather than sitting down to read one. So I did a little search of just witchcraft in Audible and I was absolutely delighted to see how many witchcraft books there were. Big long list and lots of different authors. However, my heart just sank when I saw the huge list of fake authors and honestly loads of them were plagiarised ghost written books complete with fake reviews. How did I know they were fake? Well, I've learned to spot them and once you know how it's actually quite easy. So I first learned about the fake witchy book epidemic from this article from crowsonglodge.com. This article was published earlier this year. Since its publication, there have actually been two more articles making up a series, and I highly recommend that you read all of them after watching this video. Long story short, witchcraft, especially Wicca, has become a bit of a trendy thing in recent years. I have absolutely no objections to this. In fact, this whole witchcraft trend really makes it easier for broom closet witches like myself to find acceptance from people, because this trend means that witchcraft and our lifestyle is getting more exposure to lots of different types of people, so they gain opportunities to understand us. Unfortunately, I'm not here today to talk about the upsides of a witchcraft trend. Like most trends, it has its downsides. Namely, companies trying to capitalise on the next big thing. What has happened is that some companies have hired a bunch of non-pagan ghostwriters or they've um, purchased content with a private rights label. So a lot of these books on witchcraft, wicca and paganism contain plagiarised and sometimes downright fraudulent information. Then these companies stick a made up name on the cover which is often optimised to capitalise on search trends. Examples of these authors include Lisa Cunningham, Lisa Buckland, Lisa Crowley, Amy Harmony and Scott Spells. Do they sound familiar to you? These fake authors are clearly in reference to reputable authors like Scott Cunningham, Raymond Buckland, Alistair Crowley and Harmony Nice. The books themselves, specifically the information they contain, uh, is not likely fake, um, most of it anyway, hopefully. <laughs> but basically what has happened is that someone has wrote a bunch of books about witchcraft, wicca and paganism and then they have sold them with a private rights label or a PRL. This means that whatever publishing company has bought this content can alter it in any way that they want to. They can claim authorship, they can change the appearance and they can repurpose the content in any way that they want to. This is quite common in most niche industries and it appears that witchcraft is no exception, unfortunately. Often, these companies will use special algorithms to re-spin the books whilst keeping the information fundamentally the same. So this avoids Amazon's plagiarism detector whilst keeping the information basically the same. So while technically yes, you can read these books with little consequence to your own knowledge, these books written by fake authors often lack the nuances and readability of an actual reputable book, so there's no personal stories to learn from and there's, there's no personality woven into these books, it's literally just a set of information. The real disadvantage, however, 
goes to the real reputable authors that these fake author names are designed to capitalize on. One of these authors is Lisa Chamberlain, who is fighting her own private battle with Amazon for lost sales because of fake authors capitalizing on her name. Note how a significant portion of these authors are called Lisa. Furthermore, these authors ruin the reputation of self-published authors, authors using pen names, and legitimate ghostwriters who do their jobs for the right reasons. Ghostwriters do have a legitimate purpose. They Sometimes they'll write biographies for celebrities who don't have time to sit down and write their own book, but this is not what is happening here. They are hiring these ghostwriters and they're paying them maybe a hundred dollars per book and none of the royalties are going to the people who actually wrote the information in the first place. So how do you spot a fake author? Well, if their name appears in this list that I will read out to you, then there is a good chance that it's a fake author. Authors like Samantha Lisa, Amy Harmony, Lisa Shadows, Moon Chamberlain, Esther Aaron Spells, Lisa Spells, Crystal Stones, Lisa Moon, Gaia J. Mellor, Linda Candles, Brenwyn John's daughter, Emily Stone, Amber Crystal, Hermione Tarot, Isabel Scott, Crystal Moon, Dora McGregor, Crystal Molina, Lisa Spell, Aaron Corvinus, Amelia Greenwood, Lisa Magic, Lisa Lovegood, and Scott Spells. That is not the full list, by the way. There are a lot more fake authors out there and more appearing every day because, like I said, this whole witchcraft thing is a trend and companies are trying to capitalize on it and, you know, make it rain by taking advantage of people who don't know any better. So if you come across a book on Amazon in particular and it doesn't appear in the list but it still looks kind of sketchy, then I really recommend using reviewmeta.com. So I pasted this link into the site and it was able to give me a preliminary report. So according to this site, out of 30 reviews, less than half of them are deemed legitimate. The report also found that 12 reviews were created in just three days, which is an excessively high number of reviews submitted in such a short amount of, amount of time, especially for a book that's in, you know, quite a kind of a small niche. Amongst other things, 10% of reviews contained repetitive phrases, and almost half the reviewers had previous reviews on other products deleted. Whilst none of these things individually indicate that it is a fake product, together these things make up a report that indicates that this book is not to be trusted. I also pasted in a link to this product into the site, and whilst the report told me that they hadn't analysed the reviews for this product yet, it was able to tell me that a whopping 75% of reviews were made by unverified purchasers. So they, so Amazon couldn't even verify that these people had even bought the book and actually, you know, read it. So overall, these two sets of books that I've investigated are pretty sketchy and you should probably go for a more reputable author instead. Honestly, that is literally how easy it is to check out the legitimacy of a product I don't just recommend it for books, I just recommend it for any product that you're looking at Amazon. But like I said, I really recommend it for spotting fake authors and basically fake books. Because any book on Amazon that needs to pay people to review it isn't exactly trustworthy, is it? So which authors are reputable? Well, Scott Cunningham is a really good go-to for anything on Wicca. Other good authors are like Raymond Buckland, Donald Michael Craig, Aaron Murphy Hiscock, Doreen Valiant, and Janet and Stuart Farrow. The takeaway message of this video is that if you ever find a book, particularly on Amazon, and you're not sure whether it's any good, then just go on r slash witchcraft and ask if the book is insightful and or reputable. If you come across a book online and the author appears in the fake list that I gave you, please don't give them your money. None of the royalties are going to the right people and certainly no money is going to the person who originally wrote that information. Also, when you're looking at a book on Amazon, use reviewmeta.com 
tell whether your product is fake. It is a total game changer if you ask me and this isn't just for books either, this can be for any product too. For more details on the world of fake authorship, please read the series of articles that inspired this video, I will link them in the description for you. One last thing I do want to mention before closing out this video is that there is a list of ebooks on the subreddit I created r slash broomclosetwitch and these are all available for you. While I haven't read all of the books on this list, the vast majority of them are from reputable authors and none of them appear on the fake author list. The link to this list of ebooks will be in the description for you. So there you go guys, I hope this video was insightful and I hope you learnt something new from it. Like I said, I really wanted to make this video because I'm always telling broom closet witches to download ebooks, buy electronic forms of your books instead of buying your physical books. That is because they are easier to hide, but as I am always promoting ebooks, it is worth mentioning, yes, companies are capitalising on the witchcraft trend and they are putting out fake books that have been respun with an algorithm or they've just been ghostwritten by someone who has been paid like a hundred quid just for a 40 page book. The real authors who have actually written the information are not getting any money. Worse, there are actual authors out there like Lisa Chamberlain who are getting their sales basically stolen from them because the fake author names are designed to show up in search trends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you need more information on anything to do with witchcraft in the broom closet just in general then visit r slash broom closet witch on reddit. All the links mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Also, please share this video with as many people as possible, not just broom closet witches. This topic is so important to talk about, so please share with as many people as possible because we need as many people as possible to know about this and the world of fake authorship. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay safe and blessed be.